Mayo 1900 Sports Spider with my new buddy Derek Hill. This is your third day. Third day. How's it going so far? Oh, fantastic. Uh, the Bill Amelia, it's kind of nuts, but it's uh, it's a great time. Yeah. I mean, nuts doesn't really do it justice, right? No, no that's enough. You can probably see behind us there's this like cascade of school children. This happens in every single town and village we go through. I am like humbled and honored at the amount of people that come out for this. It's incredible. Especially when the kindergartners cheer right? you on. Right, they love it. All the flags, they're so adorable. And so today, I think it is a fairly long day. But for me, this is a new thing because I've been in a modern day car, the Julia Quadrifoglio, over the last two days with Sasha. And today, we're open to the elements. It's going to be an attack on the senses. I'm already smelling like a mechanic, which is fantastic. And uh, we're just going to immerse ourselves in, a, in, in the authentic Millimilia experience. Yeah, you have to be out in the open, in an old car. I mean, this is, uh, this is the way you do it. Derek's been doing it with Guy, who I only recently found out was the uh, basis from Coldplay. We're going to update you on a really cool magazine that's coming soon from Guy called Road Rat Magazine. We're going to put a link below to that. And now we're going to hit it. We're going to get on the road next stage of the Millimilia and see what's what. Let's do it. I was just saying, now I know why they call this the most beautiful race in the world. The locations we're going through are absolutely incredible. We were just joking, we look like we're on the set of the next Romeo and Juliet. Seriously, it's breathtaking. Actually giving me goosebumps. Okay, welcome to Siena. This is the first time I've tried filming from the car probably because it's really windy and really loud. Uh, we've got Julian Quadrifoglio's full car with Sasha in behind. How's the drive been so far? Oh, it's been, uh, it's like, it's as good as it gets. It is as good as it gets. Very Italian. It's absolutely stunning to be driving these kinds of cars through the tight and twisty streets of Siena. Some of the things that you don't expect and some of the things I'm trying to share with you that can't come through on film is how hot it is by your feet. Yeah, we are, we are boiling. Yeah. So our feet are against the firewall slash bulkhead of the engine. Uh, and every now and again, it feels like the rubber on my soul. <laughs> Very true, yeah. All right, first checkpoint of the day. Got to excuse the uh, hat on backwards, but it is so windy in that car that if we don't put them on backwards, we're gonna lose them. Derek's lost like five hats so far. Um, so, let me tell you a little bit about our car. This is a 1900, this is a 1900cc uh, Sport Spider on full chat. It sounds incredible. It's only a four-cylinder car. I think there's over 420 cars on the official Millimilia, so it's intense. Half of the stuff, I'll be completely honest with you, I come from more of the sort of modern-day supercar world. I'm used to seeing cars and knowing exactly what they are. In this realm, this pre-war stuff, I have no idea what that is. But to be around it actually arguably makes it more interesting because I don't know what it is. So every day is a school day here. Pedaling with Derek as well, this guy can drive. Uh, one of the hard things is because we have no roof. Um, yeah, this sounds like that all day long. Because we have no roof, it's very hard for me to film and talk at the same time. So we have to wait for opportune moments when we slow down. But it's out of this world. Anyway, let's talk. Let me show you some beauty shots and then we're going to get back on the road. My experience from being in the Julia is it's probably a more comfortable experience, but the, in the classic is more enjoyable. Absolutely, of course. It's because like everyone yeah. sees you in, in the classic and they just embrace it so much more. No, it's unbelievable that uh, you know it's maybe unique to Italy that 
people are just so passionate. Yeah. It's like Tour de France, but yes. like with cars. With right. cars. And then right. having like the modern day is. chase vehicles behind you just it's pretty totally cool. adds yeah. to that feeling. It's, like, like, it's great. Also, think, though, going through Tuscany because there's nothing. I mean, I almost had that like magical feeling driving the car earlier, where you know you just you see the fields, you see like this old farmhouse. And those iconic trees, you know, those yeah, tall yeah, 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 like yeah. trees. It looks like a, it looks like you're driving in a painting. <laughs> you're you're going to, to it. like this great Italian. Lunch. I mean, that that to me is what the moon. But we we can oh. fix it. Okay. Okay. It's okay. okay. Tranquilo. They they can Tranquilo. they can Tranquilo. they can weld. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. Okay. So here's our baby's engine, and what's happened is there's a prop which is attached to this fan here. Apparently that's snapped off. As you can see, this comes straight off now, look. So I think this here, is this the bit that's sheared? Yeah. So it's no longer spinning. It's basically not good for the temperature of the engine. So we've got someone to come along and they're gonna weld it back on again. If this is the worst that's happening, I'm, I'm okay with that. No, and it's I not think too bad. we've been, um, you know, we've been winding it up a bit. We've been using we, it. We want to hear it. Yeah, and, exactly. And you see cars uh, on the side of the road everywhere All the being time. fixed on. Yeah, you know? yeah so, this so this is actually just this is part one of more layer. This is part of the gig, right? It's the authentic. Yeah, I always find when you get back home, you yeah. always talk about the tribulations, you know, the trials and tribulations, yeah. this one time yeah. on the Mille Miglia, when well, the car broke down. <laughs> you know, and up to this point, it's been going too well, and that's when you start to get this a little nervous. A little, a little bit complacent. <laughs> and this is exactly why <laughs> having a support team on the Mille Miglia is not only very convenient, but arguably essential. These guys have just popped out of nowhere, turned up with this welding kit. We borrowed power supply from the hotel here. I reckon we're going to be back on the road again within a matter of minutes. Spider, uh, Alpha managed to fix our baby. They managed, unbelievable. Like they just went for it. They made it happen. I don't know what they did. So they had to go to Switzerland overnight. Yeah, I think uh, they brought in a part from Switzerland. Met them at the border this morning. Okay. We had a water pump that went. They fixed it overnight, and uh, sort of early afternoon, they gave us a call, and then we're like, "Your car's ready to go." It just seems to be etiquette that the engineers who have got us all this way now push us to the finish line in a graceful manner. Uh, I've got to give these guys a massive thanks and a round of applause. They have gone over and above to get us here. It's fantastic. Thanks, you guys. This is the finish line. Here we are. Finish line. Woo! That was very special. We did it. Millimilia baby, 2018. We made it full circle. What a special event. Absolutely blown away. And the passion has been relentless from the Italian people, non-stop. I want to say a massive thank you to Italy, right? Oh, Italy has been thank incredible. You. And I think someone who hasn't been, you know, thanked enough yet is the Italian police. The Italian police has just been so helpful. We wouldn't be here before sundown without those guys. So thanks so much, guys. But take this in and we'll debrief at the end. Dude, we made it. The car made it. Um, we're not, I know this video is quite long, so we're going to keep it brief because we're both pretty tired. And we have champagne to drink. So, yes, uh, try and summarize that for me. But it's both our first millimilia in a few words. Oh, I know, a thousand miles. <laughs> it's hard to like just uh, you know, convey, 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 convey relay, relay. the uh, the emotion, the feeling, the exhaustion, <laughs> and the elation. Yeah, and it's uh, it's all there. And we smell of fuel, we oil. stink of fumes. I think, yeah, funnily enough. As much as I've tried to capture it and show it to you as best as I can through the medium of film, I think actually what sums it up is the stuff that you can't see, which is the uh, like emotions and the smells and the vibrations right. and all of these 
these people, uh, I think it is what's made it. Italy's made it. Yeah, it, right? it, it really makes, it kind of puts a smile on your face. It makes yeah. you feel good. Just uh, having people cheer for you. Like, it's like, you're like, wait a second. <laughs> I'm just, I'm having the best I mean, time. And you it, it's like, sometimes I felt like a rock star. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it's been a pleasure. Very Dude, seriously, funny. thank you so much for being such an awesome driver. You got it. Uh, this is the first time we've we've met. So it's yep. it's quite an achievement to jump in a car with someone you've never met before on such an intense road trip. Oh God, I know. Yeah. Especially when I was like, oh man, Guy Berryman, Guy, why are you leaving? Who's this guy? Cheers. Who's this guy? Thanks a lot, man. And then now I'm like, oh, that was awesome. Guy who? <laughs> no. I'm joking, guy. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. But, uh, um, we had a great time. Guys, check out a uh, link below in the description. Uh, I took over where Guy left off. Uh, he's launching a magazine called Road Rat Magazine soon, uh, and he isn't here to talk about it, so we said we would share it on his behalf. There's going to be a link below. Check it out. He's as passionate about this scene, so I know there's going to be some super content exactly. coming soon. So yeah, We brilliant. were uh, actually officially Road Rats, uh, initiated into the Road Rat Magazine uh, it. Yeah, Road it's, Rat. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, Derek's uh, Instagram as well is below. Go check this guy out. He's uh, covering the scene over in California. That's right. And uh, yeah, I just want to say, as always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Ciao. You, you got to let it go. You, you got to let it go. Let it